Argentina starting again. Since South Africa, they have been to Dublin and they've won. But this is their first chance to seek forgiveness from their own fans since their drubbing by Germany in Cape Town at the start of July. And uh, there is a meeting of minds. Gotland's European Championship qualifying group. At least the temporary coach Batista has realised that Mascherano needs a bit of help. Zanetti. Good for all Argentine supporters to uh, see him back in the mix. Lifted over the top and the flag has stayed down and Raiders in trouble and Argentina should have the lead. And no one knows that better than Carlos Tevez. That's a square back four for Spain. Just hooked in. Love the little ball there, clipped over. First touch is not brilliant from Tevez, could probably hit it. Here they come with Messi. And again. And Rainer is beaten, and the world champions are behind. And it's the little maestro with a magical feather-like touch. He couldn't score throughout the World Cup finals in South Africa, but back home on Argentine soil, Argentina's favourite son has taken just 10 minutes to score against the champions of the world. Well, he starts it off, actually, they run down a bit of an alley there. Uh, Lionel Messi, Lionel Messi, but it's a, you know, it's a very unusual Spanish back four, it's by far the, uh, anything but the strongest, but, you know, no, nobody picked them up there, and Tevez just picks them out, it's completely clear, it's the second time they've been caught short at the back, but you've just got to watch this, and you've just got to applaud this, it's a wonderful, wonderful finish, cheeky, I've got to say, but brilliant. It is one of those messy moments where you ask, how has he done that? To give the ball just enough to uh, loop over the line while somehow taking all the pace off it. In all fairness, Peter, I think the angle just been against him and Reina coming out. You see the yellow card been administered. That it's probably the only thing he could have done there, Lionel Messi, is that Pepe Reina went down, but it was just sheer brilliance. And what a brilliant piece of skill here, what a great play, but you've got to say is Messi ran away from goal they probably just switched off right backs pushed up a bit PK square well he doesn't go down particularly early does he Pepe Reina so still to get it over the goalkeeper from there is I probably think he just didn't expect him to do that in all honesty and, well he's probably the only person in the field that could it is his first international goal since he scored also against Spain in Spain last November and it's a real uplift for Batista for whom this game every game Mascherano from deep Messi Mascherano Cambiasso Ainsa to Vichelis, out comes Messi, so into started there, Messi, Mascherano made good. Messi sent reeling. Not for the first time in his young football life. He is a target, and uh, nobody knows that better than the uh, Spanish players against whom he competes week by week. Yeah, Fabregas just catches him there. Mascherano did brilliantly just winning it back, didn't he? It's from behind. Does get the ball, but he just clatters through. And uh, it is a sequence 
The early signs suggest they're likely to extend. Here's uh, Messi trying to tiptoe through. Bit off just can go and play because they've got three guys that are real grafters behind them who they just didn't have in, in the summer. If you add Di Maria to that front three, it was a front four and it just left them against the better side. Like, Veer is there in 66. And with a good few years ahead of him as well, yeah. Silva barged off it. I don't know whether Argentina really are in the mood, Messi might be, to cause Spain some uh, very real embarrassment. The collective tail is up under new management. Fabregas. Monreal. Excellent retrieval by Messi for uh, Banega. And the man who scored the sort of goal he did at one end should be back doing that sort of work at the other. He also launched himself to head away as far as Xavi Alonso. Argentina win possession. Half time. An impossibly good goal from Lionel Messi, an impossibly bad one conceded by Reina to Tevez. Between those one from Iguain, do not adjust your sets. The half-time score in Buenos Aires, Argentina 3, the world champions 0. Tevez. Messi. Rano, always simple. Messi, not necessarily so. For sure. This is the run from Messi. And look at it from behind the goal, the save from Messi. Messi orchestrating a short corner. Begun the second half, having made four changes. Rather more positive to play Scotland. Mascherano. Messi. Off he goes. That's beautifully done for Messi. Oh, 4 0. Or so it might have been, but for the uplays flag against Di Maria. And from a neutral perspective, you have to say that's a great shame because Messi's run was amongst his mercurial best. And what's more, actually, he's right. Well, they just delayed it that split second. It, it, the pass was actually. They have three goals scored by three different strikers, and they have uh, another option in uh, Kunaguer. Cambiasso and simply had to bully Messi over. There is no alternative. Again, it's when I mean, once he gets this side of you, you've just got you've got a decision to make because the likelihood is he's going to drive in all the way in. Messi, a lovely first touch. The uh, well-timed tackle by uh, Dubikalis. Asso. Oh, when he was on the ground. But there's been a much better balance about this Argentinian side. No doubt about Fine. Hart. But uh, a few cooler heads would have gone for Batista, who had been in charge of the youth set up internationally. And indeed had overseen the team that won Olympic gold. Arbolero's foul. Don't 
a striker who you know is not even on the field at the moment, so they've got plenty of choices going forward. Wayne scored from in the first half, he couldn't quite get it in, it was well blocked in the end. I see. Even by his extraordinary standards, he left himself just a little bit too much to do. Just watch him how he just drops his shoulder here. There you go. DK, I think it is. Tati Bai. Just not quite gets it under control. He's been away, can't generate the power. But there's been some some great runs from Lionel Messi at times in this game. Some fabulous footwork. Obviously, an excellent goal. Time for uh, Lionel Messi to take his own uh, personal round of applause. They don't require much encouragement to lift him onto a pedestal. A wonderful watch once more and has scored a wonderful goal once more. And he leaves you with the minor regret 